Yo, what is up guys? It is Small back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today we're going to be basically ranking the units that you want to be getting from the selector for 5 star units that you are getting at the end of the check-in event. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is not like other check-in events. You do not get prompted when you log in for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It is a weird thing, I know. But you have to go into this event page in your mailbox. Go to the check-in event underneath. You'll see a Zarin Foundation Day. As you complete your check-in, you're going to get to day 15, and you will get this five-star selector for RGB units, ice, fire, and earth units only, and it is for five-star units. Now, you won't be able to get any Moonlight units from this. You will not be able to get limited units or collab units, and you will also not be able to get the units that you see on your screen here listed. I don't know why. I guess they don't want to give out recently released units. Um, those are the exceptions. Besides that, every single five-star unit besides the units I just mentioned that are earth, fire, and ice are going to be available. So that's how you participate in this check-in event. It is weird. If you guys started a little bit late, it's okay. You'll see that there are 40 days left at the top left here. So even if you start this like 20 days from now, you'll still be able to fill out this check-in event. Don't feel pressured to, you know, log in every single day if it really interferes with your life. Uh, but you know, it is a really easy thing to do. Just check in, right? Just press like a few buttons. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And in how you start the event, now let's actually get into the tier list. So this is the tier list guys for what I recommend that you should be getting from the selector ticket. Now remember, you will not be able to get limited units or collab units. And you will also not be able to get the units that were mentioned in that picture I mentioned earlier. Also keep in mind that, you know, I know there are a lot more five star units in the game, but I just wanted to give you a list of a few because these units are a lot better than the other ones you can get, to be honest. So yeah, we're going to separate it into three tiers. Basically the best options tiers. Um, basically, if you don't have one of these units, you definitely, definitely want to get them. If you're missing both of them, we'll talk about which one you should pick. Next, we have the great options tier. These are also very, very powerful. Some of these units are very good in PVE. Some of these units are very, very powerful in PVP. And then we also have the Dirty Cleaver options. Now, Dirty Cleaver options, basically, if you are a strict cleaver and you guys don't really like playing standard, then you guys might want to look into this tier. But for the general population of the game and the player base, I would recommend either one of the units from Best Options or from the Great Options. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you are a cleaver, then you can just choose your cleave unit. But that being said, let's go into the Best Options. So there's two units that you can choose from this tier in my opinion and that is going to be tamarin and huayang now tamarin guys you guys probably already know from you know watching other a lot of other content creators uh, but tamarin is the best soul weaver in the game you just put her in the front you know you can literally keep her at five stars you don't even have to six star her but you kind of want to later on but she can tank pretty much everything she's extremely powerful and, and pretty much all content for PVE and she's just so so strong she doesn't require great gear you can put her on very crappy gear and she'll do very well and the best part is since she is able to be used in a lot of areas of content you can actually free up a lot of your gear to put on other units next we have Huayang so Huayang is one of the best if not the best PVP damage dealers in the game if you guys already know you know she one shots tanks very cool she can one shot non tanks very cool she also has a huge barrier that scales with her attack and it's really easy to build her because you literally need nothing but attack, speed, and I guess like defense. That's pretty much it. So yeah, these two options, guys, Tamarin and Huayang, very powerful, right? We have Tamarin, the PvE specialist, best PvE unit in the game by far. And then we have Huayang, one of the best RGB PvP units right now. And I think she's a lot better than the other ones. But, you know, there are some other good options as well if you already have her, which we can talk about now. So in the next tier, we have the great options tier. So at the top here, I'm going to personally recommend Rowana. Now, Rowana, guys, um, especially if you already have Tamarin and Huayang, she's a very good pickup because she can be used in both PvE and PvP and be very effective. PvP, guys, you can use her as a counter to like Bellion, Rem, anything with a counter attack. She's very, very powerful. In PvE, you can use her in Kades. She's really strong. You can use her in Ice Expedition. Uh, you can use her in Automaton Tower. She's very powerful. In Abyss Floors and in Hell Rage, she's very, very strong. And with the new Labyrinth mode coming out, I expect Rowana to be even better after the changes. Next, we have Alencia. Also, I'm gonna, you know, pretty much loop Alencia with Shu. I think they're vo both very similar in strength. I think Alencia is slightly better, but these two units, guys, very powerful for PvP. If you guys like playing World Arena, then Alencia and Shu are gonna be very good options. I think Alencia is a little bit better right now, but Alencia does require 
more gear, right? Because you definitely need to run her on double KD sets. You want to run her on injury and penetration set, which can make gearing her a little bit harder if you're new to the game. Whereas uh, Shu can be run on speed set, right? And it's going to be better than running her on injury set. Um, so Alencia is harder to gear, but you, you will see that Alencia is a little bit more consistent, a little better than Shu. Both of these, these units though, guys, very strong in PvP. If you guys like playing World Arena and you guys are looking to, you know, trying to build, try to build your PvP roster with more bruisers that deal a lot of damage, then Alencia and Shu are very good options. Next, we have Politis. Now, Politis can be used as an anti-cleaver and a cleaver herself. So if you guys are struggling against cleave or you guys actually want to start cleaving, then Politis is a very good pickup. She's very strong in PvP, uh, but not really used in PvE that much. Next, we have Para, one of the best openers in the game. Now, you guys might be wondering, um, isn't Para a cleaver? Uh, you can use her in cleave, but you can also use her in standard comps. She has a lot of support for her team, um, very powerful unit in Guild Wars as well, and World Arena. You can pretty much use her anywhere in PvP where you want to go first. Only problem with Para though is she is hard to gear. If you don't go first with Para, you kind of just lose. You guys definitely want to make sure you have speed gear if you want to pick her up. Now we have Asaria. So Asaria, she is a selective summon unit, so you guys probably already have her. But if you don't, she's a very good pickup as well for PvE. She can be used in a lot of areas of content like Raid, Abyss, um, Banshee normal teams. You can use her in Hunt one-shot teams, Azunac as well. Very, very powerful. If you guys are looking for a decent, decent um, defense breaker, then Asaria is a good choice. Now we have Violet. So Violet used to be pretty much OP in PvP, but now he's fallen a little bit off, but he's still very good. You can use him in Guild Wars defense, you can use him in Arena defense, I actually use him in both my Guild Wars and Are Arena defense teams, and in World Arena you can use him in basically any scenario where there are not a lot of units that are fire, right? Violet is also very good in PvE, you can use him in Ancient Inheritance, you can use him in Automaton Tower, you can use him in Banshee, he can pretty much almost solo Banshee 13 if you have really good gear on him, you can also use him in uh, expeditions as well so very very powerful and katie's so yeah very powerful um just not as high up as the other units because the other units before him are just more specialized and you know a lot better in especially in pvp besides maybe asaria now we have senya so senya i think is you know a little bit underrated i definitely underrated her in the past before but after watching her in play she's a very strong pvp unit i think she can pretty much solo teams if you have her really well built so i think for that reason if you guys are looking for a fun PvP Bruiser unit that has a lot of CC, then Senya is a very, very good choice. Now we have Destina. So Destina, um, or Destina, is going to be a very, very good answer to Peyra's, right? She's a very decent Soul Weaver, especially if you guys don't have like DN and Meteor Cowric built. If you are looking for a good unit to actually keep your team alive and revive, and also counter Cleave as well with her S3, then Destina is a very, very good option. Now we have Elena, similar to Destina, you can use her as an a answer to Cleave. Uh, the only reason why she's a little bit lower than Destina is because that she is pretty much only used against AoE Cleave, um, while, while Destina can be used a little bit more general purpose. So out for that reason, Elena is a little bit lower, but she is a great answer to Cleave. So if you're struggling against Cleave and you already have like Politis, and you, guys, and you guys are looking for another answer to Cleave, then Elena might be a good choice. Now we have the Cleave options. So, you know, all these units, very decent for Cleave. I'm going to go through them really quick. Uh, because not everyone likes cleaving um, but just to summarize right ran best opener for cleavers right very powerful now we have ada on on his right so ada is in my opinion i think ada is a little bit stronger than ran um, maybe it's because i think ada is just a really broken unit especially if she can take a turn but she can solo cleave your team it's actually ridiculous very powerful unit next we have pavel another really good opener if you like using challenger dominion or if you have ML Pavel, then Green Pavel is very powerful. Very strong opener if you run him at 300 speed, or I guess like 280 if you don't have great gear. And he can basically one-shot a unit as well. Flan, very good support cleaver. She can defense break the enemy team and also give someone CR push with attack buff and crit damage buff. Absolutely insane. Really, really good cleave secondary opener. Now we have Vildred. Vildred himself is an AoE damage dealer that can clean up enemy teams. And also he has a speed imprint, which makes him very powerful in boosting your speed of your team indirectly. And now we have Kalrik. I think Kalrik is a little bit underrated. 
but he's a very good speed contesting opener as well because his damage does scale with speed. He can reset the skill cooldown on units that have very powerful S3s, and he also does pretty decent damage and has good survivability now. So I think, you know, these cleave units are all very decent. I think from left to right, it is pretty good ordering, I think. Um, if you guys are late game, then, you know, you maybe want to prioritize Vildred super high because you want that speed imprint as well. I'm um, really up to you. But yeah, just to summarize, you know, Tamarin and Huayang, I think, are the two best choices by far. I would personally recommend Tamarin over Huayang because, you know, PvE comes before PvP, in my opinion. Uh, the faster and more efficient you clear PvE, um, you'll actually boost your account a lot quicker. It's not to say Huayang can't be used in PvE though, guys, uh, but Tamarin is just so, so good. Trust me, she's amazing. And, you know, Huayang does actually have some counters now in PvP. She's not as unbeatable as before. You know, you have that really OP counter. Um, it's called the ban button in World Arena. Pretty decent. And in uh, Guild Wars Defense, you can just bring her um, or bring you like, like a Yulha or a Kisei or an Ice Unit. You should be fine. For the great options, you know, these are pretty much interchangeable. Um, this is what I personally recommend from left to right, but, you know, it's really up to you. If you guys, for example, right, uh, already have a lot of bruisers, right, and you guys don't have, like, good answers to cleave, then you can skip, like, Alencia and Shu and get Politus instead, you know, stuff like that. If you guys have a lot of bruisers uh, and you are missing Alencia Shu, but you really want a really strong opening unit, then you can get, like, a Peira, right, stuff like that. Really up to you to decide. I just merely ranked it by what I think their power levels are so that being said i hope this tier list helps you out guys i know this video got kind of long but i kind of wanted to talk about why i placed every unit in each tier if you guys think another unit should be on this list then um, comment down below what you guys actually think you know i know some like units i could have put on here right like celine right could have been somewhere here because she's a really good answer to cleave as well uh, probably like something like here um, actually that would probably make a lot of sense if she was on this list um, but yeah stuff like that if you guys have other opinions let me know down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video peace